but you have to be able to call out shit that's wrong on your side. And this is one of the problems that the Democratic Party's having right now with this Joe Biden guy. You guys got to be able to call it out. You, you can't let this slide because everybody else sees it. And Trump is going to eat him alive. He's going to eat that guy alive. The guy can barely remember what he's talking about while he's talking. Well, he has a point. We've been making the point for quite a while now that one rapist is not necessarily better than another. And one racist is not necessarily better than another. So Alternate comes out with this story that gave me an idea. Joe Rogan becomes new face of Bernie or bust by saying he'd vote for Trump over Biden. Now the cowardly hack who wrote this piece isn't even going to tell us his name or her name. Written by Daily Coast, that's all it says. And the first point is, this is what white privilege looks like. We've been debunking that for months. White privilege looks like this. The comfy wine track suburban Democrats are what white privilege looks like. They're the ones who don't give a fuck about workers unless their Uber Eats don't arrive on time. What this alternate person is afraid of is that the Bernie or Trump voters are so damn powerful. It takes half as many Bernie or Trump voters to wreak the same devastation as the same number of Bernie or Bus voters. The comic was speaking on Friday's edition of his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, which regularly tops the iTunes chart for downloads. Rogan has nearly 6 million Twitter followers, regularly appears on television as a commentator on mixed martial arts, and is seen as an influential voice with young and blue-collar male voters. Very subtle. He's an influential voice with young voters, period. It isn't just a male Bernie Bros audience that likes Joe Rogan. Rogan, who has endorsed Bernie Sanders, said the party had made morons out of voters by appearing to favor Biden. Favor. The word favor is spelled with a U. That means this is a British writer or somebody in the UK. I'd rather vote for Trump than Biden, said Rogan. I don't think Biden can handle anything. You're relying entirely on his cabinet. If you want to talk about an individual leader who can communicate, he can't do that. And we don't know what the fuck he'll be like after a year in office. When he endorsed... Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders put that out on his uh, Twitter and they touted it because uh, the whole thing about why you got to elect, you got to nominate a moderate is because moderate can get, you, you can get uh, uh, independence to vote for you, right? That's the whole thing. Oh, they can get independence. You got to get the independence to swing the election. Well, if there's anybody who represents the independence, it's Joe Rogan, right? and his audience, right? And so here's what he said about uh, Joe Biden. This is the real ex issue with the Democratic Party. They've essentially made us all morons yeah. with this Joe Biden thing. They really have. <laughs> they made imagine? us all morons. Who do we need? I mean, can, who, I can't of, vote for that guy. I can't vote for him. I can't vote for him. I can't vote for Trump. There, I would, I'd rather vote for Trump than him. I, I don't think he could handle anything. I mean, you're relying entirely on his cabinet. Like, if you want to talk about a, an individual leader that can communicate, he can't do that. And, and we don't even know what the fuck he's going to be like after a year in office. So that's what Joe Rogan said. And now, at which, which is what, um, you remember all the people saying, I won't vote for Bernie? Do you remember uh, when Donnie Deutsch on MSNBC said, I'm going to vote for Trump if Bernie's the nominee? Do you remember that? I remember that. Mm-hmm. People have been saying that left and right. But now because someone's said, I'm not going to vote for a guy who's obviously demented and can't finish a sentence, and be, you're all making us into morons, we're all supposed to go, yeah, let's vote for the, the guy who's basically mentally deficient, who's not all there. And we're all supposed to go along with this? Like, that's how corrupt the Democratic Party is. That's how broken and calcified they are. And he's like, I can't bet, you're not going to make a sucker out of me. And he's right. He's 100 percent right. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to vote for Trump. I'm going to vote for uh, the Peace and Freedom Party person, probably. It's interesting that they're solving the same problem in different ways. Jimmy's going to vote third party. Joe is going to vote directly for Trump. Both are voting in protest against the Democratic rigging. Both are voting in protest of the obvious corruption in the Democratic Party. Both of them favor Bernie Sanders. Both of them understand that Obama, Biden, Clinton have done as much harm as Bush and Reagan. Both understand that American workers have gotten the short end of the stick over at least 40 years. 
Both of them want actual change instead of lip service. And in my opinion, both of them have fairly progressive values. If we're talking about labor strikes and we're talking about bringing the whole thing down, then we should think about the best way to do that. Four more years of Trump might not even end up being four more years of Trump. We might have blood in the streets before that's over. We're facing an existential threat in the form of climate change. Perhaps it's safer in the long run to bring the whole system down and start over than it is to wait for the incrementalists to fix things. I'll let you decide, dear viewers and listeners, which is the better way to do that. But at least on this show, I'm not going to let any Bernie or Busters denigrate Joe Rogan unchallenged. In my circles, I realize I'm sticking my neck out. In my own family, I'm sticking my neck out. But I'm not going to put down Joe Rogan for saying what he's saying. Every Bernie or Buster who crosses that line and becomes a Bernie or Trumper is doubling her or his impact on this election. And if instead of 20% saying they won't vote for Biden, say they'll vote directly for Trump, if that became 80% instead of 20%, everyone would lose their shit. The whole thing would be over because everyone would stop pretending that Biden had any chance of defeating Trump. Jose says, remember how the Bernie campaign was flaunting the Joe Rogan endorsement? Well, turns out that Joe Rogan would rather vote for Trump over Biden. <laughs> Considering how close the Bernie campaign was to Rogan, seems important for Bernie, or at least his campaign, to issue a statement. That's what Mehdi Hassan was saying, and he got ratioed on Twitter for criticizing Bernie for not disavowing Joe Rogan. Bernie's holding tight on this. He's not going to cut Joe Rogan out. You at least have to give him credit for that. He's not running away from Joe Rogan's endorsement. Bernie will never come out and tell us to vote for Trump, of course. He won't even tell us to stay home. If we want to see a power shift, I think Joe Rogan is on the right track. So what, what Kyle Kalinske says is, yes, Bernie must apologize for Biden being so weak that swing voters preferred Trump over him. Because that's what that reveals. That swing voters are going to vote for Trump over Biden. That's what that reveals. You can't run a guy who's obviously demented just because your media won't talk, just because Chris Hayes and Rachel Maddow are fucking bought and sold for it. They won't fucking tell you that he's demented. Just because they won't tell you that doesn't mean he isn't. They're lying. How could you keep turning to those news? That, like right now, how could you still turn on Rachel Maddow and Chris Hayes knowing they're lying to you about Joe Biden? They're playing you for a chump. Yeah. Because they have no integrity or moral center or not. They're not good people. They're fucking bought and paid for pieces of capitalist paper. That's yeah. all. Yeah. They're a commodity. They've turned their integrity into a commodity and it's for sale. Right. Because you don't think nerds will lie to you. And they know that. That's why they hired nerds to lie to you. <laughs> if this gets going and people get the idea that they could vote directly for Trump to screw the DNC, it could really catch fire and go. You're going to annoy the hell out of people if you share this episode. They'll bang in their high chairs and they'll scold us for telling them the truth. But we need to keep telling them the truth. So whenever Trumpers say they'll vote for Biden against Trump, but not for Bernie, that's a reflection of Biden's appeal. But when Joe Rogan says he'll vote for Bernie against Trump, but not Biden, it means Bernie attracts terrible people. Like me. See how that's inconsistent? And the inconsistent logic favors the establishment once again? Get in line. Get in line. Ryan Grimm says, the question of touting Rogan aside, he didn't handle it well. That Rogan now supports Trump over Biden is exactly the point Bernie was making. Bernie said he was the one who could uniquely flip people from barbarism to socialism. So this makes his point. It doesn't refute it. Perfectly said by Ryan Grimm. Here's Joe Biden. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> People still watch MSNBC and CNN and think they're getting news. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Chris Hayes, fake tough guy Lawrence O'Donnell. Uh, oh, Chris Hardball's gone forever Yay. to join Bill O'Reilly in that sex harassers podcast in the sky. So here's your tip of the day, dear viewers and listeners. I'm not telling you to vote for Trump, but I am telling you to spread the word that Joe Rogan says that he'll vote for Trump because this can only help Bernie in the long run.
If you've been burning your bust all along, this won't bother you at all. But if you're new to the idea of burning your bust being a legitimate way of going forward, this may cause you to swallow a little and wonder about your own fortitude, but it's powerful. It's dynamite. Burning your bust is dynamite. Burning your Trump is two sticks to one of dynamite. And if you're willing to talk about burning your Trump, it doesn't mean you're burning your Trump, but just talking about it is going to help. In my classes at school, they say, Howell likes to start shit. And hopefully in this moment, you'll like to start shit with me. Get on board the Bernie or Buzz train. Come get on board the Bernie or Buzz train. Once you hear that clickety clack, there ain't no time for turning back. Get on board the Bernie or Buzz train. The preceding episode can be viewed on the YouTube channel. Bernie or Bust Television.